New details now in the search for a missing swimmer in Evanston, and that search just ended for the day. They've been trying to find a 41 year old man who disappeared in Lake Michigan while swimming in some rough conditions, along with three other people yesterday. The others were rescued. CBS 2's Andrew Ramos is live from Evanston with the latest. Andrew? Marie, we're told that that search effort wrapped up just after 2.30 uh, this afternoon. Now, uh, the beach here remains closed to the public. Now, it's been about 24 hours since this 41-year-old man went missing here at the beach. Uh, all day long, we've seen a lot of activity as far as first responders go. At one point, seeing divers frantically jump into the water, but still no sign of this man. This whole ordeal started just before 4 p.m. Sunday afternoon when emergency personnel were called for four swimmers struggling in the water. Before any first responders would arrive, a good Samaritan jumped into the lake and managed to pull three people out. They have since been identified as a woman and her two teenage daughters. Their relationship to this 41-year-old man is still unclear. The search for him was suspended Sunday evening due to choppy waters and picked up again at 8 a.m. today where several agencies, including the Chicago Fire Department and U.S. Coast Guard, have assisted the Evanston Fire Department, which is leading this effort. The search covers an area that's roughly half a mile offshore. We are going about as far south as a Church Street boat ramp and as far north as where we are here at Lighthouse Beach. The red flags continue to fly Monday as they did over the weekend. A red flag means swimming is prohibited because of high surf and strong currents, and lifeguards are not present. It's a warning that apparently was not heated Sunday. Experts say even the most experienced swimmer could find themselves in danger in these conditions. If they're jumping in the waves and then next thing you know, they're stepping into a rip current channel. Now they're in water over their head and they're being pulled away from shore as a wave is, is, is pounding them over the head. While Lighthouse Beach remains close to the public, other beaches here in Evanston are open. Now the search will continue Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. Reporting live here in Evanston, Andrew Ramos, CBS2 News. Andrew, thank you.